Many lawyers think that a job in legal publishing is their dream job. Research, writing, no billables. Well, as I've shared before, I took a six figure pay cut to leave big law for my job in legal publishing. And then I left my job in legal publishing after only one year. Today, we're gonna talk about why. I'm Sarah Cottrell, I practiced law for 10 years, and now I help unhappy lawyers ditch their soul-sucking jobs. To be honest, leaving legal publishing after only one year is really not as dramatic or surprising as it sounds. When I took my job in legal publishing, I wasn't moving towards something that I knew was going to be a good fit for me. I was running away from something that I was sure was a bad fit for me. This is one of the things that I talk about a lot with a lawyer in my program. While you absolutely may be in a situation like I was where you just need to get out and find something that will pay the bills, and if you are, you totally should. The best career choices come from knowing what you want to move towards and not just what you want to run away from. For me, the process that I followed in order to decide that I was gonna take a job in legal publishing was not that different from the process that I followed when I first decided to be a lawyer. I knew I didn't wanna stay where I was. I looked at my skills and what I was good at, and then I looked up and basically chose the first thing that fit those skills and didn't seem to be completely terrible. Now, don't get me wrong. I was genuinely excited about the legal publishing job, but I also didn't go into it thinking, I've spent all of this time and energy really honing in on what it is that I want to do and I know that this is it for me. I definitely went into that job thinking that I could be pleasantly surprised, but I didn't have an expectation that it was going to be the be all end all. Instead, I looked at it as more of a bridge between where I was and where I wanted to go, even though I wasn't 100% sure where exactly that was going to be. You'll hear people talk about this idea of a bridge job. My friend Annie Little published a video on her channel about this recently, and that's exactly what my legal publishing job was for me. It gave me a chance to take a beat and catch my breath without the excruciating pressure of a big law job. There were so many things about the legal publishing job that were great. Great colleagues, collegial environment, like an actually collegial environment, not the big law collegial environment, which basically means most of us won't actually scream at you, and playing a part in creating something tangible. So why did I leave? Well, like I said, I didn't go into it thinking that it was going to be a forever thing necessarily. And while there were many great things about it, and it was approximately a billion times more enjoyable than big law, ultimately the work could be pretty tedious. I tell people that it felt like I went from going 90 miles an hour to 10 miles an hour. And what I really realized that I wanted was something that was like maybe in the 50 miles per hour range. Plus I realized that if I was going to be spending time writing, I wanted to be able to be a bit more creative and there's only so creative that you can be when you're writing and editing legal practice manuals. So how did I figure out what was next? Well, there was one type of lawyer job that I still was very interested in and hadn't tried yet. It combined my love of reading and writing with some of the skills that I had developed in the first several years of my career. And next week, we'll talk more about it. In the meantime, if you want to catch up on my story, you can watch the video on the screen where I share why I quit Big Law. I'll see you in the next video.